Okay, folks, we have a problem. So, basically, I'm just down to putting the head and the mouth on. And I had the wa the motor. That other motor, I don't know what the hell happened to it. It got hot and melted. Like, I, I can't even spin the shaft anymore. So, I threw this nice new one on it. And I soldered it, and I went to plug it in, and... It appears to be running infinitely. And... That probably explains my, why the mouth was stuck open when I got it. I couldn't push it back up because this was all screwed up. So guess what? Now I have to go back into the base, trace that bad component on the PCB. Look, I got a nice new multimeter too. And see if I can fix it. So what do you think about that? Looky what I found. What is this? It's a transistor and it is freaking burnt up. That's where it goes on the PCB. So that is guaranteed to be our problem. Now, why is it burnt up like that though? Well, I don't have the, 
the schematic, so I can't exactly tell you why, but that is a, can you even tell what that is? Let's see if I, let's see if I can read it. Uh, I'm trying to read it through the unfocused camera. Okay, there we go. 80505D331. I think that's an obsolete part. I don't know what the proper replacement is. I'm just going to replace it to whatever is close enough. While I'm at it, I'm also going to check this resistor. And I might swap this cap right here. Uh, these I don't have to worry about. But this is for sure a problem child. Guaranteed. Okay. I went ahead and swapped that transistor. I didn't have any of the um correct ones that it was. And and what it, what it was doing at first is when I replaced it, I tested it and the motor was still running forever. It's like, huh. So that resistor must be bad. Well, I replaced it, and, and about this resistor. So, the original value of this resistor, it's right here. It's 1.5K. And this part is like 20 years old or something. And I don't have any of those weird in-between values that I have. The closest I had was only 1K. So I put 1K in there. And I tested that resistor and it tests fine. But I don't know. Could it, usually resistors test fine if they're out of circuit. Then once they got current going through them, then, that, then that's when they go bad. Or they go bad, yeah. And um, I went ahead and replaced this cap too. And that cap, th those ca capacitors don't usually go bad. And and I th and I am I'm about to test it and see if that got us anywhere. Just give me a moment to uh, mount this back, and we'll plug it in and see what happens. Okay. I got the board ma mounted. I didn't. I didn't um, secure the base yet, just in case that didn't fix it. But I'm pretty sure it has, cause I don't think there's much going on in the net circuit. So I'm gonna plug it in. Cross your fingers. Let's see what happens. Oh my gosh! Did did I fix it? The motor's not running anymore. Let's, let's press the button to see what, what happens. Hey, bada, 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 uh, bada. Okay, now it's not running at all. Rock and fire. Move it, baby. Boom, baby. Yeah, it's it's dead. Uh, okay, there's something else going on. Well, I really thought that was the problem, but... Well, I got more work to do. So, I'll, um... I'll let you know if I find anything else that may be wrong with it. Okay, guys. I think I got it now. So, as I kept working through this, I started, I, uh, I started noticing something that... The, when I, when you, when you first turn it on and press the button when the mouth motor uh, would would start it would try to move but it couldn't and I kept thinking thinking what would be the reason for that and I know the motor's not bad because I replaced it and you saw it running when it was running forever and so the next thing I did, was I tested this to make sure that um 
it wasn't I didn't put a bad one in it. And I noticed that I wasn't getting a reading from this outside leg right here. I don't know if that's I think that's uh emitter or collector. And you're supposed to get a reading from base to emitter or base to collector and I wasn't getting a reading from one of them. So I thought that was bad. So I swapped it with a different one from a parts board, which I don't have with me right now, but and and it's the correct one because the one I had it was wrong, and I, and I was getting the same thing pretty much. So I replaced that, didn't fix it. So well now we know that this must be good then or that other one must have been good, but it's just the wrong one. Um, and then what I did was, since I had the, the, the 1K resistor, which is supposed to be 1.5K, I, I put the original one back in it. And then you're getting something a little different. When the mouth motor would try to run when you press the button, it would spin for half a second, then go completely dead. And it would do that every time you uh, disconnected the power and applied the power power again. And so, and like I said before, that uh, resistor, wherever it is, there it is. It tested fine, but resistors or anything really, unless it's shorted together really, will test fine in or out of circuit, depending on what the circuit is. The next thing I did was, I looked on the parts board and I found the correct one, 1.5k, that I know it was good. So I swapped it, and I didn't test it yet. So we're going to see if that, if that fixed it. So let me set let me set it up and we'll see if that fixed it. Okay, I got it back together. Again, I didn't bolt the base just to be sure. Because I don't want to have to screw it back in and then it doesn't work. Then I have to take the screws out again and stuff. So we're gonna plug it in and see what happens. So Again, motor doesn't run, which is good. <laughs> Ready, we're gonna press the button and see what happens. Hey, bada, 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 bada. Holy crap. Rocket fire! Move it, baby! Come, baby! Fixed it. Alright. I feel a whole lot better about that now. So apparently that resistor. Where is, where is it? Where is it? Oh, yeah. Apparently that resistor was bad the entire time. And that 1K one apparently didn't fix anything. So I guess you have to put the correct value back in when you're doing this type of stuff. And that transistor is also the correct one too. So now we could finally move on and put it back together. <laughs>